So yesterday, Xiaomi launched the Mi 4i here in India, and for the first time, they had a launch specific to India and uh, a, a Xiaomi product that comes out in India first before anywhere else. So that's that is pretty nice. But sadly, I wasn't able to get any hands-on footage with it because I had a very early flight to catch and the presentation ran a little late. So anyway, I thought I'd do a impressions video as in my thoughts on the uh, launch event itself and what kind of expectations I have for the video and uh, for the phone and so on. So anyway, before we get to that, if this is your first time here or in case you can't remember, let me introduce myself. Hi there, this is... Doesn't that sound a little familiar? Well, anyway, someone does that better, so let me just pass it on to him, so. Hey, this is Ranjit, and in this video, we're going to talk about our first impressions of the so-called new flagship from Xiaomi, known as the Mi 4i. So, Ash, Mi 4i. Cut to intro. Okay. 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 So Ash, the Mi 4i, Xiaomi said it's the new flagship. What do you think about the tag known as flagship? I kind of, th th that's something that really irked me. Uh, I don't really think they should have called it a flagship. It's a Snapdragon 615 device after all. Snapdragon 615 is something you find on phones from like 9,000 bucks and that's not really a flagship. But barring that, what is? what do you think about the rest of the features they th talked about, you know? I would say it's a decent mid-range device according to me. But yeah, coming back to the Snapdragon 615, they quoted it's the second generation. Okay. They quoted it's the second generation, not the one that we had issues of overheating and stuff. On the Eureka, I guess you had a... HTC Desari 20 and uh, one more. A7 was okay, I guess. A7 was okay. It didn't really... But then Samsung, so... Fair enough, fair enough. So, yeah, for, for you guys... The second generation uh, Snapdragon 615, uh, Xiaomi say that they've been working with Qualcomm India on it and they have tested it and it doesn't really get heated all that much. I mean, that that's the official yeah. statement. So uh, this has like a four uh, Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.7 gigahertz each and another four at 1.1 gigahertz each. So that's a uh, 100 megahertz, uh, what do you say? clock speed increase compared to the one on the uh, Eureka so we'll have to see how that how that turns out we will be doing gaming reviews and whatever trying to figure out how hot it gets anyway so another very uh, one of the hottest things coming out people have been asking both of us questions on this the storage 16 gigs yeah. non-expandable for a phone that they say you know me for I show me for India and 16 gigs non-expandable what do you uh, say like uh, if we were getting a lot of comments and yeah strictly speaking I'm also disappointed okay at least if you have just one option of 16 gig add a micro SD card guys I don't know they don't have a variant of 32 or 64 yeah and I, I also had a call with uh, Chetan Bhavani a little while back and uh, Okay, guys, sorry if I'm like jumping between both. I'm not used to this kind of shooting. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be looking at the camera or looking at Ranjit. So I'm like just alternating between both. So you guys let me know what I'm supposed to be doing in this situation in the comments below. I'd probably do that in future videos. So anyway, coming back, I had a call with Chet Chetan Bhavani who told me that they said as of now, they didn't have any plans for a 32 or 64 gig variant, but they might consider it in the future, which sounds like a very diplomatic thing to say, don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, USB OTG is available, yeah. so that's okay, pretty decent. Then again, what do you feel? Do you think that they should have just called it a Redmi 3 or something? And My frank with... opinion, okay, Ash. It looked like a miniature Mi Pad and a mix between iPhone 5C. Okay, guys, that's what I felt. Yeah, it, the, it does come across as, you know, the build, build quality wise, it does come across as uh, what iPhone 5C was to the 5S. But then again, it doesn't pack in the same internals as the Mi 4. So that is something to consider. Again, lower RAM, yeah, lower and the, chip. And the, with the Mi, uh, Mi 4i, the back covers can't be replaced. Mm -hmm. They have multiple colors. They have multiple colors. And again, Chetan told us that what the black and white. Black and white are like, they have the matte finish. Other ones are the glossy one like the Mi Pad, which I personally hated. Okay. Yeah. 
did it do do it was okay okay uh, so yeah what else okay so the camera okay camera looks like decent okay red facing camera 13 megapixel but i'm excited about the front facing because it has what a 5 megapixel that's normal but the f stop is 1.8 1.8 that so it's upping up even uh, after the galaxy s6 what it had 1.9 so looks like the selfies numbers, will be great yeah but numbers aren't the final thing right let's yeah. see let's see so we haven't really gotten like i said any hands on time with the phone we weren't able to shoot any interrupted videos so let's ash let's talk about the pricing that's like what 12.99 13000 13000 yeah okay so what do you feel because i when they announced the pricing i i was there and i saw the expression so what do you feel about the pricing <laughs> okay see pricing wise I was ex- I honestly expected it to be a little more a little cheaper because see 13 13000 is a great price I don't I don't deny as of today I like the pricing for this product I like the pricing I didn't like the fact that they called it uh, a flagship Flash. but I do like the pricing but the things that happened in the in the last few weeks especially given that the Mi 4's price was just cut by 2000 bucks that led me to expect if they were going with a mid range or a Mi 4 variant as they want us to presume this is i expected a little bit uh, a, a more aggressive pricing this is a very aggressive price don't get me wrong but the uh, the lead up the fact that the mi 4 is currently priced at 18 uh, and this is uh, this is priced at 13 yeah that's why you saw yeah. that expression yeah. on my face i, I expected that price i was okay but i'm like not happy that we just have one option with just 16 gigs that's my biggest gripe i would say Fair enough. Fair enough. And again, guys, uh, for those of you who've been using Redmi phones, this does not have a user replaceable battery. You cannot replace the back. They do sell some extra covers, uh, but then again, official covers have always been official covers. Yeah, How many of us use official covers? Uh, where's my S6? <laughs> It's over here. I just have a S6 Edge, and I've got an oblique case on it. I have a UAG case on it. Uh, yeah, lots of cases. We don't actually use the official cases, but yeah. So anyway, Xiaomi does for what it's worth sell official cases, and Xiaomi accessories are generally priced decent. Yeah, they were talking also about the battery thing. They have the 4.4 volt and stuff. But yeah. generally, I'm happy with the Xiaomi battery life. So looks like this one also should have good battery life. Yeah, 3120 milliamp hour at a 7.8 millimeter oh. thickness for a mid range device. That's seriously. good i mean that leads you to leads to the question what happened with battery on the mi note <laughs> <laughs> your flagship 5.7 inch di- display with a 3000 yeah, milliamp hour battery a 5 inch display on the mi 4i with 3120 3120 yeah 3120 yeah, yeah so yeah so yeah these are the things we really didn't like but there were a lot of things we liked about the phone as well so i like, let's talk about the display they were talking about direct sunlight uh, thing and they say that it'll be really like easy on the eyes and it'll be visible even in direct sunlight so that's something that i like that's a real improvement i would say yeah instead of just upping the brightness of the displays and letting you know let, to get it more visible under direct sunlight they've got some software optimization yeah. to it yeah yeah so where in the uh, the darker areas pop it'll up play more. with the contrast and exactly. stuff so that it's easily visible even visible in dark light uh, under direct sunlight and uh, so what do you really like about the me for some of the features highlighting factors i would say Honestly one of the things i really liked about the presentation was the shots they took at Apple it's you know they are coming out with a mid range phone they talk we are talking about a mid end phone and they still kept alluding to Apple you know it it doesn't bend it doesn't have a, a it, the camera sits flush with the back and the, even the size was compared with the uh, iPhone iPhone 6 yeah iPhone 6 yeah so it's about as tall as the iPhone 6 marginally wider but with a 5 inch display up front and yeah that's pretty good in terms of uh, belt qua belt a uh, design rather so what else so mi ui 6 with lollipop you know a lot of people have been asking for lollipop man yeah. so yeah here we have it it's not going to look anything like lollipop is it yeah obviously it's mi ui mi ui yeah. but should be faster underneath the hood we should be seeing some kind of optimizations yeah. maybe so overall i'm like I'm happy with that I would say uh, but again as the tagline they said a flagship it's not Dragon 615 guys it's not a flagship exactly uh, right now had this phone been announced as the Redmi 3 I would have been a lot more happier it's just that calling it a flagship you know okay let me put it this way there were tons of me fans at the event 
okay we took a lot of selfies yesterday as well all right and we were talking to everybody and most people my reaction immediately after the event was like uh, people asking me what are your thoughts ash and i was like i like it i like the phone uh but i don't think it's a flagship and these were like real me fans who had like traveled the way, way to actually come to the event and nobody actually said no you're wrong it is a flagship and people are like yeah man yeah it's not a flagship but it's a great phone and that's exactly my thoughts right now on paper it seems great hmm. but it's not a flagship and i kind of i expect this from samsung you know yeah, coming out of the hype yeah the exactly hype. coming out of the phone that's a mid ranger like the a7 or the e7 or the and hyping it up and whatever, e whatever. at least xiaomi is not pricing it like crazy like what uh, yeah. samsung does yeah and so that know, way like samsung guy <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I kind of expect. I, I would expect this kind of a presentation from Samsung, where they hype up a phone like with a 410 chip as a great mid-range phone for the masses or something like that. But Xiaomi calling it a flagship was a little disappointing because you know, end of the day, we are all we are there, we are covering the event, and nobody for a second believed it was a yeah flagship. But yeah, barring that, thirteen thousand, great price. Uh, I would. Okay, the okay. I'm gonna put this question to you because I really don't want to answer this question. Okay. I know you guys want to ask this question. Ranjit, would you buy this over the Eureka? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Those are horrible okay. like issues with the Eureka. The kind of heating and Xiaomi says that this does not heat that much. But definitely, the, the moment keyword, I get it, I'm gonna test it out. Because the keyword there was it does not heat that much, and what does yeah, that what mean? That? Yeah. So let's see. Overall, Ash, I would say it's a nice phone for that price. Only gripe I had like storage. That's one storage. Gripe. Yeah, that's one gripe I have. That's it. Yeah, especially you know when they say that they have taken Indian consumer feedback, uh, like you know four G LTE dual SIM, yeah. both SIMs with four G LTE capability. All that was Excellent. great, but one of the most common, you know, storage. being in this field and reading all the comments, one of the most common comment we get is. Even with the Vibe Z2 Pro, 32 gigs, non-expandable, non-expandable, non-expandable. This is 16. Yeah. And after the MIUI and everything, how much? Like about 11, 11, 11 odd, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 max 12. So 11 odd for a phone without SD card. Uh, Ash, like it's a okay. I can make it work, but it's a compromise. It's what, a real compromise. What were they thinking? Seriously. So yeah, enough about the Redmi. Th- I'm sorry, uh, Mi 4i. So yeah, we also had another launch yesterday, the Mi Band. So and I'm happy. He's I'm happy it. about the price also. It's nine nine nine, and for that price, it's a great deal. And this is how it stacks up against uh, Fitbit Four. <laughs> I like the Fitbit battery life. Actually. The battery life is supposed to be really great. Around thirty five to forty days. Yeah, it got me around forty days. They so advertise it yeah. as thirty days, but it does get around forty forty five fish. And that will be sold via what Mi dot com? Mi dot com. Not Flipkart. No flip card. Yeah, this time the Mi 4i will also be sold via other partners. The Initially, it's going to be a flip card exclusive. They told, but later on, we'll come to Airtel, Snapdeal, and Snap what deal. Not, other, th- other things. What else? Snapdeal, Snapdeal. Yeah, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Yeah, that's. I'll say that with a smile on my face. <laughs> uh, the mobile store and whatever. Mi dot com. It'll also be available via Mi dot com and the. Mi Band is a Mi dot com exclusive. Yeah, it's going to be exclusive. Like that. So yeah, nice to see them setting up shop. We'll see how. that works or we'll start tweeting yeah. we'll see <laughs> so what else <laughs> oh, let's see so, yeah, we aren't getting the me 4i anytime soon it was given to a few select reviewers yeah air quotes but whatever so yeah the zen phone 2 on the other hand we are getting it we are getting it possibly end of day today or tomorrow so ranjit will be doing an unboxing from my studio yeah so Uh, and I'm gonna try to get him to do it my way. Oh and my I'm god. gonna edit the video. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna edit <laughs> It'll it. It'll take me two days to do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Zen Phone Two will be coming out, and also uh, uh, we we are also getting the A seven thousand, A six thousand plus. So we'll try to get plus, some. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas on what videos, Ranjit is gonna be here for another day. Yep. Yeah, he's leaving on Sunday. So you have any ideas of any other videos that we could do together? We uh, can do some iPhone six comparison with. other android devices okay okay and i actually want to interview this guy i'm going to do that i'm going to do that next so anyway guys uh me for i coming back uh what do you think do you think that it's a flagship uh, do you think it's priced decently would you prefer it over the eureka uh 
over the Redmi Note. Maybe that's yeah. still in the picture. Or the question that I really had when I saw this pricing is this better value than the Mi Three? Because yeah. Snapdragon eight hundred is still a hell of a chip today. So is this better value than the Mi Three? What do you guys think? I will answer the questions once I get my hands on the phone, which uh, the official answer is uh, she'll get it pretty soon. So, so yeah, yeah, we'll see. Once <laughs> I get it, uh, uh, I'll have the answers for you. But as of now, what do you guys think? What's running in your head? Where are you guys at? Let's know. Let us know in the comments below. And I guess that's it. Wrap. Yeah, man. Overall, I would say personally, it's a great mid-range device. That's what I will say. Yeah. So you can do the thanks for watching bit. I want to say. So guys, thanks for watching and again, stay tuned to both our channels. Thank you guys. Till next time, <laughs> this is Ash here from C4E Tech and Kiki Ranjit signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.